Hello, this is Vertical Measures, and today we'll be discussing sitemaps. To begin with, you can see I've got my URL here, verticalmeasures.com forward slash sitemap.xml. You can check to see if your website has a sitemap by going to your URL, followed with the extension sitemap.xml or sitemap.txt. This will show you what an XML sitemap looks like. And here you can see you've got the URLs listed, as well as the priorities, the change frequency, and the last change. Essentially what this does is allow a search engine robot to come to this site and look to see what kind of changes has, have been made to each one of these pages. And essentially it helps to speed up the process in terms of uh, dis site discovery, page discovery for the search engines and that allows you to rank a little quicker uh, for particular search results. It also allows search engines to find really deep pages within your site. So if you have you know, tier 4 or tier 5 pages within your website, uh, this sitemap can help search engines to find that easier. The second kind of sitemap is an HTML sitemap. And here again you can see an example of it at this URL. And this sitemap is actually geared more towards our human visitors as opposed to search engines. So you can see what it does is uh, shows each one of the major sections here of our website and then all of the sub pages within each of those sections. So it gives a nice little breakdown of uh, all the web pages on our site and depending on what a human visitor is looking for then they can go right to it. If you don't have a sitemap, you can basically build one very easily by going to this URL. As you scroll down, it gives you instructions. There's four simple steps. And basically what you would do is enter in your address and then change frequency. This is, uh, there's several options depending on how frequently you change or add content, this kind of gives the search engines an idea of how frequently they should visit. So if you're adding, say, an article every week, you might say weekly. And then for last modification, generally I would use the server's response. And then priority, you would set maybe automatic priority. This allows them to calculate uh, the priority for your sitemap. And then you just click Start. This will give you some results, and the results that are given you'll have to download, and then once you download them, you'll have to upload them to your server. This does require some ability, and so if you're unfamiliar with something like that, uh, you might contact your webmaster, or uh, you can, you're welcome to contact us as well. After you create your sitemap, you're going to probably want to submit it to each of the major search engines. For Google, that's the Webmaster Tools, and uh, this is the URL. You'd need to sign in to your Webmaster Tools in order to submit your sitemap. The same is true for Yahoo. You can see here's the Yahoo address, and uh, here you would click on Submit Site Feed, and then you could submit your uh, URL of your sitemap here. For Bing, it's uh, the Webmaster Tools here. You would sign in. And then for Ask, you can go to their uh, this URL. And at the bottom of the page, it gives you a uh, detailed description of how to submit your sitemap via Ping. That concludes this episode of Essential On-Site SEO Tips. These are critical factors to achieve higher search engine ranking. If you need help implementing your sitemap, or you just like more information on essential on-site SEO tips, please visit our address at www.verticalmeasures.com. Thanks for watching, and welcome to Intelligent Internet Marketing.